Hi, I'm Jason Kana, and I'm here to share a success story of how Gibraltar is helping a certain independent software vendor in their quest to build rock-solid products. I happen to know quite a bit about this particular company because you see it's us. We don't just sell Gibraltar, we also use it ourselves to help us take care of our customers and understand where we can improve. By walking you through an actual case where Gibraltar has really helped us out, I hope to give you a sense of the big difference it could make for you too, helping you take better care of your customers and improving your software products. So let's get started. To set the stage, I should explain that Gibraltar consists of two parts, a lightweight data collection agent and a desktop application we call the analyst. The Gibraltar agent monitors your application like the black box on an airplane. It then sends session data to the Gibraltar analyst, which helps you analyze errors and usage patterns. Naturally, we use the agent to help us troubleshoot any problems our users report with the analyst. Well, sure enough, my partner Kendall was up late one night working on the next release of Gibraltar when he got pinged for a live chat by a prospective customer named Sam who was having some trouble. Sam wanted to get started evaluating Gibraltar with a trivial VB program. He could see that trace messages were showing up in the Gibraltar Live Viewer, which is part of the agent, but for some reason these messages were not displaying in the Gibraltar Analyst. Kendall had Sam send us his Gibraltar logs by clicking an item in our help menu. And by the way, the wizard I'm showing you is a standard part of the Gibraltar agent. You can invoke this wizard with one line of code. Within seconds, Sam's session data is available in our customer service system. We can open the package by simply double-clicking it. Gibraltar shows that there are only two unique errors in Sam's session data. The first one is a familiar non-issue his firewall is blocking the RSS feed to our start page. Hmm, the second one looks promising. Let's drill into one of these sessions for a closer look. The first thing I want to do is get an overview of all the errors in this session. I now see that our deserialization error occurred eight times and on three different threads, but always in the same method. And if I look down here, I can see error details, including a full stack trace. Hmm, UTC has to do with time zones. And among the many session details that Gibraltar collects, I see that Sam is in New Zealand. Meanwhile, we're here in the US. Now let's take a look at the events leading up to each of these exceptions, so we can understand them in context. I'll switch back to the default view and enter part of the error message in the search tool. I can now step through each occurrence of the exception and see the surrounding messages. Huh, look how consistent the pattern is. Our exception always occurs immediately after load session begins. With all this information, it was quite easy for us to pinpoint the root cause of the problem. It turns out that we had a subtle bug in the way we deserialize timestamps that only shows up when the agent and analyst are both run in a time zone with a positive UTC offset, like New Zealand. So, that's my story. You can see that Gibraltar really came through for us. Gibraltar gave us everything we needed. Armed with that information, we were able to fix the bug, update our automated tests, and publish a patch release within 24 hours. Sam was impressed, but hey, don't take my word for it. Come visit us at gibraltarsoftware.com. Put Gibraltar to work on your .NET apps. And see for yourself how Gibraltar can help you take better care of your users and improve the quality of your software products. Thanks for listening, and really, come see us, gibraltarsoftware.com. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.